What's up, Game Devs? Tony Chan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And so I just want to go ahead and start off that I got some bad news and I got some good news. So let's go ahead and start with the bad news, which is uh, I'm changing the format of the podcast from daily to weekly. Now, here's a couple of reasons why. The main reason is because I'm getting burnt out. You know, I'm juggling with a full-time job, raising a new family, and then Houston just recently got hit by Hurricane Harvey, so it's making a lot of things really difficult for me to do things right now. Uh, it takes a lot of time doing the interviews, editing the audio, and then posting it up. Thus, I decided to pivot and change my format to, to basically avoid losing my fi- sanity. <laughs> um, another reason is based on feedback. So some in, some of the interviews that I've done, People say that it seems rushed or it could have gone in a more depth, which I think is true. Um, my guest has some amazing stuff to say, and I, I really hate to cut them short because I was trying to limit everything to under 30 minutes. And post interview, some of my guests even said like, oh, man, I, I, I wish I talked about this or I wish I talked about that. And which this actually brings us to the good news, which is I would ask more questions in the interview and extract as much detail as possible in a 40 to 60 minute episode. So basically, we will learn more about their failures, their success, and their personal interests. And doing weekly will also give me more time to promote the episode during the week to give it the attention it deserves. And like some of my past interviews, I thought were amazing, many amazing interviews, but it didn't get a lot of uh, attention. And I don't know if I was just putting out too many episodes and some people were just skipping it. But since I'm doing weekly, she give it more time uh, for it to grow. And I will also do my best to uh, make the show notes better as well. So, for example, I will include more uh, key points or and make the format cleaner. Another good thing, I believe, is you yourself will have more time to digest the information and use it over a period of time. So instead of hearing like new tools every single day and giving overloaded with information, you can focus on that one episode for that week and use what you learned throughout the whole week. And that way, you you know, you're not overloaded with all these different tools in your head. You just uh, learn that resource for that one week and just you know use it as you see fit. So in, in the end, I, I just want you to take action and not be burdened by all the information I'm giving out there. So it'd be more focused, more clean and uh, more time to do things. Now, uh, personally, for me, I will have more time with my family and I will also start making games again. So I'm learning all this valuable information from the best people in the game industry and not even putting it to good use. And so I want to get back into making games and use what I learned and hopefully have a great chance of succeeding from everything I'm learning right now. Of course, I'm putting my uh, model into action, which is knowledge is only potential power. Execution is the game. So it's time for me to fulfill my dreams and take action on what I know. I already plan to take a trip to Austin at the game conference at the end of uh, September. And I'm saving up for GDC in the future as well. And people has been telling me nonstop that GDC is it's like mandatory or required for game developers to go. It's, it's just that huge and that good. And of course, I'm going to go to like network, build a meaningful relationships, learn, and I'm going to work hard to build a portfolio and build credibility. So I'm really serious about getting to the game industry. I'm going to work hard to to accomplish it and achieve it. I hope you understand. Thanks again for listening. I'm actually really proud of myself for doing this daily for nearly two months, but I just I don't want to get burnt out. You know. I don't want to reach that point. It's time to take that break. It's time to make that pivot. I still plan on giving you as much valuable content as possible to help you make the best decisions in the game industry. Uh, Note that the new format will start Monday, September 11th, and new episodes will release every Monday going forward. I got a few uh, sponsor giveaways lined up as well, like free ebooks on game development and free in-store credits for websites like QBrush. So stay tuned to learn more at a later date about that. And if you want to support the show, subscribe to the podcast and hit me up at Tony at GameDevLoadout.com if you want to have a chat. So until then, take action today and I will catch you on the next episode. Bye.